My heart feels broken over the current political situation in the United States. How can I best move past this sinking feeling I seem to always have? I seem to be losing hope in humankind. Really good question. And I'm glad you asked it because uh, so many people also are thinking in this way and are feeling disheartened about being an American at this point when things are so tumultuous and we're so divisive. I want to say that sometimes humans choose their best path by having traversed the hardest path and having walked in a way that you just can't take another step. And I don't know if we're there yet, but I do believe that this divisive way that we've been experiencing things on the political spectrum and in other avenues of life because of the politics in the United States right now, uh, it's becoming untenable for people as far as being able to have a happy, optimistic, healthy life. And the, the truth of us, the divinity of us, abides in a place of perfect peace always, is always looking for the next opportunity to love, is always looking for the next opportunity to bring peace and joy and connectivity. It thrives on connectivity. So the kind of divisiveness and separation that we're experiencing is, is really soul sucking for many people, if you want to put it that way, because it feels so opposite to what we crave the most. I would say that if you're one of the people who feels like, you know, right now that um, you're becoming very disheartened, let yourself move inside and begin to love yourself for having a feeling that feels disheartened to begin with. That means you know that there's a part of you that can be heartened and that you're not feeling that now. So let yourself just sit with that feeling of feeling separate, just looking at it, observing it. And let yourself love that this can't be the reality of things. If it doesn't feel good, then it's not worth experiencing. So let yourself notice that if you can focus on connectivity within you with, first of all, things that make you happy and things that bring you delight and things that feel loving and the people that feel the most connected to you and to life in a way that feels happy and peaceful and begin to let that just percolate in your life and bubble up and become the majority of what you think about. Then every once in a while, when you get a whiff of what's going on with the tumultuous nature of things in the outside world or in politics, you'll be able to approach it with a sense of connectivity that begets wisdom, it begets discernment, and it begets a higher quality of living. So you choose more wisely what it is and how it is you, you take in things from outside. A person who's miraculous knows that we're here to heal. And it, you will know innately if, if, if you're called to this particular circumstance, because you'll feel compelled, it'll feel like you're being, you know, pushed from behind by angels, or it'll feel as though it's, it's drawing you in a, it, through love. If, you're, if it's not your business, you won't feel as though there's any part of it that is enticing or interesting to you. That means you want to focus more on what connects you, and that's your business right now. We need people on the other side of this and even in the midst of it to weave themselves into this that are just pure love, that just choose not to judge that just choose that everyone can have their opinions and their experiences. And even if they're horrific, that's okay because sometimes people wake up from situations that call for love so dramatically that they finally accept love as the answer. So just 
let yourself stay in a place where you are full enough that you don't feel like you're sucked into judgment or sucked into chaos, that you don't find yourself pulled or drawn outside from this connected self very easily. And once you're connected, then you'll be sent. You'll be told where to go, what to do, what to say and to whom. And I will tell you, the world will look a lot happier and, and healthier because you're in it. You'll also bring about a lot more circumstances that, that people need on planet Earth right now. Just know that you're the solution. Just know that you arrived as the solution and that you can step back and let the divine lead the way into where the solution lies.